In computer science, the Boolean satisfiability problem is the problem of determining if there exists an interpretation that satisfies a given Boolean formula. In other words, it asks whether the variables of a given Boolean formula can be consistently replaced by the values true or false in such a way that the formula evaluates to true. If this is the case, the formula is called satisfiable. On the other hand, if no such assignment exists, the function expressed by the formula is identically false for all possible variable assignments and the formula is unsatisfiable. For example, the formula A and not B is satisfiable because one can find the values A equals true and B equals false, which make equals true. In contrast, A and not A is unsatisfiable. SAT is one of the first problems that was proven to be NP-complete. This means that all problems in the complexity class NP, which includes a wide range of natural decision and optimization problems, are at most as difficult to solve as SAT. There is no known algorithm that efficiently solves SAT, and it is generally believed that no such algorithm exists. Yet this belief has not been proven mathematically, and resolving the question whether SAT has an efficient algorithm is equivalent to the P versus NP problem, which is the most famous open problem in the theory of computing. Despite the fact that no algorithms are known that solve SAT efficiently, correctly, and for all possible input instances, many instances of SAT that occur in practice, such as in artificial intelligence, circuit design and automatic theorem proving, can actually be solved rather efficiently using heuristical SAT solvers. Such algorithms are not believed to be efficient on all SAT instances, but experimentally these algorithms tend to work well for many practical applications. Basic definitions and terminology, a propositional logic formula, also called Boolean expression, is built from variables, operators and, or, not, and parentheses. A formula is said to be satisfiable if it can be made true by assigning appropriate logical values to its variables. The Boolean satisfiability problem is, given a formula, to check whether it is satisfiable. This decision problem is of central importance in various areas of computer science, including theoretical computer science, complexity theory, algorithmics, cryptography and artificial intelligence. There are several special cases of the Boolean satisfiability problem in which the formulas are required to have a particular structure. A literal is either a variable, then called positive literal, or the negation of a variable, then called negative literal. A clause is a disjunction of literals. A clause is called horn clause if it contains at most one positive literal. A formula is in conjunctive normal form if it is a conjunction of clauses. For example, x1 is a positive literal, ax2 is a negative literal, x1 aax2 is a clause, and, x1 aax2, a section a section ax1 is a formula in conjunctive normal form, its first and third clause are horn clauses, but its second clause is not. The formula is satisfiable, choosing x1 equals false, x2 equals false, and x3 arbitrarily since a section a section a false evaluates to a section a section true, and in turn to true a section true a section true. In contrast, the CNF formula AA section AA, consisting of two clauses of one literal, is unsatisfiable, since for A equals true and A equals false it evaluates to true a section a true and false a section a false, respectively. For some versions of the SAT problem, it is useful to define the notion of a generalized conjunctive normal form formula, viz. as a conjunction of arbitrarily many generalized clauses, the latter being of the form R, L1, Ln, for some Boolean operator and literals Li. Different sets of allowed Boolean operators lead to different problem versions. As an example, R, Ax, A, B, is a generalized clause, and R, Ax, A, B, A section R, B, Y, C, A section R, C, D, A Z, is a generalized conjunctive normal form. This formula is used below, with a being the ternary operator that is true just if exactly one of its arguments is. Using the laws of Boolean algebra, every propositional logic formula can be transformed into an equivalent conjunctive normal form, which may, however, be exponentially longer. For example, 
transforming the formula A A. A into conjunctive normal form yields a section a section a section a section. A section a section a section a section. While the former is a disjunction of n conjunctions of two variables, the latter consists of two n clauses of n variables. Complexity and restricted versions. Equals unrestricted satisfiability equals. SAT was the first known NP-complete problem, as proved by Stephen Cook at the University of Toronto in 1971 and independently by Leonid Levin at the National Academy of Sciences in 1973. Until that time, the concept of an NP-complete problem did not even exist. The proof shows how every decision problem in the complexity class NP can be reduced to the SAT problem for CNF formulas, sometimes called CNF-SAT. A useful property of Cook's reduction is that it preserves the number of accepting answers. For example, deciding whether a given graph is a three coloring is another problem in NP. If a graph has 17 valid three colorings, the SAT formula produced by the Cook Euro Levin reduction will have 17 satisfying assignments. NP completeness only refers to the runtime of the worst case instances. Many of the instances that occur in practical applications can be solved much more quickly. See algorithms for solving SAT below. SAT is trivial if the formulas are restricted to those in disjunctive normal form, that is, they are disjunction of conjunctions of literals. Such a formula is indeed satisfiable if and only if at least one of its conjunctions is satisfiable, and a conjunction is satisfiable if and only if it does not contain both x and not x for some variable x. This can be checked in linear time. Furthermore, if they are restricted to being in full disjunctive normal form, in which every variable appears exactly once in every conjunction, they can be checked in constant time but it can take exponential time and space to convert a general SAT problem to disjunctive normal form. For an example exchange a section, and a in the above exponential blow up example for conjunctive normal forms. Equals 3 satisfiability equals. Like the satisfiability problem for arbitrary formulas, determining the satisfiability of a formula in conjunctive normal form where each clause is limited to at most three literals is NP complete also. This problem is called 3SAT, 3CNFSAT, or 3 satisfiability. To reduce the unrestricted SAT problem to 3SAT, transform each clause L1A and LN to a conjunction of NA2 clauses, L1A L2AX2, a section a section a section, a section a section, where X2, XN2 are fresh variables not occurring elsewhere. Although the two formulas are not logically equivalent, they are equisatisfiable. The formula resulting from transforming all clauses is at most three times as long as its original, that is the length growth as polynomial. 3SAT is one of CARP's 21 NP complete problems, and it is used as a starting point for proving that other problems are also NP hard. This is done by polynomial time reduction from 3SAT to the other problem. An example of a problem where this method has been used is the clique problem, given a CNF formula consisting of C clauses, the corresponding graph consists of a vertex for each literal, and an edge between each two non-contradicting literals from different clauses, CF picture. The graph is a C clique if and only if the formula is satisfiable. There is a simple randomized algorithm due to Sha paragraph Ning that runs in Timin where n is the number of variables in the 3SAT proposition, and succeeds with high probability to correctly decide 3SAT. The exponential time hypothesis asserts that no algorithm can solve 3SAT in time that is fundamentally faster than EXP, O, N. Selman, Mitchell and Levesque give empirical data on the difficulty of randomly generated 3SAT formulas, depending on their size parameters. Difficulty is measured in number recursive calls made by a DPLL algorithm. 3 satisfiability can be generalized to K satisfiability, when formulas in CNF are considered with each clause containing up to K literals. However, since for any car per mil 3N, this problem can neither be easier than 3SAT nor harder than SAT, and the latter two are NP-complete, so must be KSAT. 
Some authors restrict KSAT to CNF formulas with exactly K literals. This doesn't lead to a different complexity class either, as each clause L1A. A LJ with J.